What's up fellow Earthlings? Today we're doing a collaboration with Sonoma Strong Hauling, another YouTube channel. If you haven't heard of them, go check them out and subscribe. They have part one of this video on their channel. Here is the shout out of the day. Thank you to this person for commenting on my channel. And if you want to be shouted out on my channel next, go ahead and comment down below and you may just be the next one. Let's get on with this collaboration, guys. What's going on, all my hustlers and grinders and go-getters? The ones that wake up in the morning, look in the mirror, say I'm gonna get money today. We're doing a video with my buddy Austin Lee Hires. Yeah, today's gonna be double the fun. We're gonna go back and forth and share each other's days. We're on the hot tub, last thing of the day here. Cutting it in half, loading it in the container. We got a shed, we got a gazebo, we got a hot tub. Sonoma Strong hauling. They have part one of this video on their channel. So we're at the next job of the day. It's job number three and it's for a contractor. And it's probably about a load and a half, but we're gonna do one load today. And uh, yeah, let me flip this camera around real quick. So here's pile number one. Right here's pile number two. You got another little pile up there. And this pile right here needs to go. Hey, Joe, Joe. Yeah. What you gonna do with this piece right here? Put it in first. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling up to our house here and watch this one. Our destination is on the right, guys. Let's go ahead and see what our first job is for the day. So. Mini fridge, guy, this guy, that guy, that guy. and that guy out there. That guy out so there. So far, okay. And then um, these two things. Those two end tables there. Hi, hi, it's okay. Come on, it's come on, it's come on. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. He likes me. He smells my dog probably. I have two dogs. It's okay. It's okay. He's never bitten anybody. Okay. Come on. And then the two box springs underneath so of it. Inside, okay. And then Tattoo. there's a. Um, Cat tree. Yep, then okay. these two. Two chairs. Two chairs. All right, all right. Both that cat tree and that cat tree. All right, it's raining out here right now. We are we got the job, we sold it for 500 bucks. Thirty-five minutes later, one load is done, and uh, it's a waiting game now. Cause check this out, we are blocked in, and we got one more load to do tomorrow. It's a heavy one, huh? It's a heavy one, and um, it does not feel like January. It is really warm. It feels like April. Yeah, what's the temperature out there in Florida right now? Let me know if people are walking around with alligators on leashes right now. Leave a comment down below. You can get a suntan. Oh hell yeah, I'm getting I'm getting tan like a mother right now. <laughs> Matt and Jojo are about to get done in here. That is a big pile of wood you guys got to remove. Good job on the hustle. And uh yeah, I don't I haven't seen any gators on leashes around here, but I did see a stripper pole in the room. <laughs> All right, I think that's everything out here, right, Isaac? I think so. I think so, too. Yeah. All right, let's head inside and see what we got. Scary man. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes. All right, I think we got everything in here. Okay. Gonna come, come in here and yeah. see what we got. Come on. It's okay. Come on. It's okay. Come on. It's okay. Um, let's start with this couch over here. Is, oh, you already moved it. Beautiful. These cats is here. We'll start with. Oh, I have to check to make sure there's no cats inside of it. The cat has six oh, cats. Oh gosh. Six. Okay, guys, we're all finished up. The load is topped off. We're headed to the next job. Yo, Matt. While me and Isaac are dumping this load, why don't you tell our subscribers what's the biggest mistake you made in 2020? So, what's the biggest mistake I made in 2020? I'm gonna say I hit a parked car. Not with my vehicle with a shed door from a job. A plastic shed door. I threw it on the top of the load. It slid out and hit some girl's car and I had to come out of pocket 
Yeah, that's a pretty big mistake. Hell yeah. I would say mine is I would have invested in cryptocurrency when my son told me. He was telling me that it was like something I should do because it was really low and it's going to go high and now it's getting kind of high and I should have invested in that earlier on. Now Austin, what's your biggest mistake of 2020? One of the biggest mistakes that I made in 2020 was not keeping track of my maintenance cost as well as I could have. So this year I'm going to keep track of the maintenance cost and really minus that from the gross sales. And uh, that will give me a true net this year because that's one of the things that I really wasn't keeping track of. So I'd say that's my biggest mistake. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this week's prize is going to be this Japanese government. This is a Japanese government 5 pesos. 5 pesos from the Japanese government guys, that's the prize for this week. If you want to win this, go ahead and comment down below, the Japanese. That's the keywords, the Japanese. Type that down below. Now I'm just curious, Austin, did you always start with a dump button? Or did you have to hand unload the loads at first? Let me know. It's kind of curious. I didn't even know they had dump trailers or push buttons when I first started thinking about getting into this business. So no, I did not start out with a push button. I started out with a flat trailer, just like almost every other person that I know about that started this business from scratch. Isn't that right, Onyx? So yeah, that's right, Daddy. So we are at the next job of the day. This person found us on Google. So it's not that much, a couple End tables or something? Yeah. Or low? They're like uh, storage units. Oh, okay. Things. Easy. So just like that, a minute and a half later, and I love it when the customer has it in the back of their vehicle and they don't go dump it themselves. We're getting paid. <laughs> so we're going to the job number five, and it's for a neighbor right down the street. And we got a find it of the day. We'll show you in a second, guys. What's up, YouTube family? We're here at the second job of the day, fixing to remove a refrigerator for somebody, and I think they want us to replace their old or the new refrigerator with the old refrigerator, but we don't do that. So we'll see what happens. All right, guys, so it looks like we're not doing this job. The gentleman was like, oh, you're supposed to be giving us a quote on, hold on, there's rain on the lens here. I wipe that off. You're supposed to be giving me a quote on, you know, removing this refrigerator and putting the refrigerator. I said, sir, we don't put refrigerators in. It's not something we do, but we'll take a look at it for you. And then, uh, and then I said, okay, let's see what it takes to get this refrigerator out. He said, come on in, come on in. So we walk in and he said, actually, do you guys have your mask? And I said, uh, well, no, and we do have masks, but that shit. <laughs> I'm not wearing a mask. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not sick. He's not sick. We know it. Um, anyway. So he said, yeah, I can't let you guys in here if you don't have a mask. And we said, okay, you have a good day. So we're on to the next job, guys. So we have the last job of the day and this swing set needs to go, this soccer metal piece needs to go, this basketball court needs to go, and also this dresser inside the garage needs to go. And look at this steep driveway, damn. Now we done for the day and look at this hill. I'm not sure if you could tell how steep it is, but Jojo, how steep is the it's hill? Steep. I always get really nervous when we're parked on a hill. Even though we use the emergency brake and stuff, I always, these horrible visions come through my head. I don't like it. <laughs> what a straight pussy. <laughs> we're going to the dumps right now and it's an all metal job mostly too. And I love those. That means it's all profit mainly. Yeah, let's get the hell off this hill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, Jojo, this is the end of our uh, day today. We just picked up that dumpster, and my wife is here picking up this dumpster. How's it going, babe? Uh, what, do we, what do we got? It's got a line up correctly. And you just can't get it? Nope. Why? Put the window open. It's just the, either I have to back in underneath it, okay. or I have to do something You could have totally done this. My brain is fine. All right. Here. Record me. This guy. This guy what? You? This guy didn't save you from life. You sure did. See? It was just not even there. See? Right there? See, I can do the rest now. <laughs> I could have done it before. It just wasn't lining oh. up correctly. This, this girl. <laughs> this fucking girl right here. Woo! 
that was not really that long of a day. <laughs> now that we're back at the office, Jojo, what did you find? I'm so interested to see what it is. Now it's time to check out Jojo's find of the day. She's been looking for an end table for a while and she found one. She was going to Ross, Marshalls, <laughs> when I was out hunting looking for one. And look what she got. Came across it. Five drawers. And it's from a million dollar house too, so you know it's the good stuff. I would say that's a nice find of the day. It's a great find. So it's El Luncho in Austin. Where did you used to work at before you started doing junk removal? I'm kind of curious. What about you, Jojo? That's a great question. I'm curious too. What did you used to do before you started your own business? I was in the restaurant industry for about six years. For three years of that, I was a pizza delivery boy driver and I started to move up to a sous chef and start doing some food prepping, chicken, meatball, shrimp, all that. By the end of my term there, I was head chef for three days a week, making all the soup of the days, making the special for the day, and doing all the gourmet cooking, sautés, penne a la vaca, meatballs, shrimp scampies, uh, you name it. And also eggplant roll and teeny. Yeah, I did it all. So that's what I did before I got started in junk removal, guys. It's a huge switch to go from the to go from the restaurant industry into the trash industry is a huge switch. So Matt, I know what you've been through, my man. You know I used to make sandwiches, but now I'm a holler baller, and I'm going into this grocery store right now, and I'm gonna tell them dirt bags in there to make me a sandwich right now. <laughs> and I'm gonna love doing it too. Get some more mustard and some more mayonnaise on that bad boy, and extra meat. Think I'm an asshole? You need to stay humble. I'm very humble. I'm gonna be super nice. I'm gonna <laughs> say that's perfect perfection. So lunch is here, and I got me a roast beef sandwich and some exotic potato chips and a peach iced tea. And what'd you get, Jojo? I got a eggplant rollatini with peach iced tea. You high class, sexy thing, you. Now Austin, tell the viewers what you want them to do. I'm super happy to be doing this collaboration with Matt and Jojo. Guys, go to their channel, hit subscribe, hit that like button for me, comment down below, let them know that I sent you from my channel to theirs, and I will greatly appreciate that. Ooh.